Team up and go places. Oh, uh, that's right. You can't get any more teamed up than being married, can you? <laughs> and besides, I don't want any more of my kids going halfway around the world to be singers. Oh, Mom, Omaha isn't halfway around the world. Anyway, Billy Joel will be all right. Uncle Joe's with her. He's the kid I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, how about a song from you? Oh, no. Oh, sing a song. Betty Joe will play for you. I got some beads to string here. Well, I don't know if I rightly got a voice for stringing beads. <laughs> Cracking walnuts, maybe. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Drucker, what'll it be? Uh, well, if you insist, I guess I can sing about anything you folks would like to hear. Juanita, Over There, Moonlight on the Ganges, <laughs> Coco Piccati. I, I know them all. <laughs> They're all good, Sam. Yeah, come on, let's hear it. I got a critic here. <laughs> what do you want to hear? Doggy in the window? <laughs> you would. That's the only one I don't know. <laughs> it's a cannonball. It must be an emergency. I bet it's Fred Zippel's pig, Arnold. You know, you could be right. I heard that Fred was worried about Arnold's oink. <laughs> hey, it's stopping here. <laughs> Did you knock him dead? Take it easy, everybody. I'll answer your questions one by one after we get inside. And it's so good to have you back. Oh, I'm glad to be back. Okay, everybody. Here's the word. The trip was terrific. A sensational success. A personal triumph. Oh, that's well, wonderful, dear. I made some contacts and came up with some ideas that's going to revolutionize the shady rest. What's the matter? Uh, uh, Joe, we're a little confused. This was your personal triumph? You know it. Oh, Billy Joe here was a smash, too. It was very good. Oh, they want me back. Well, that's fine, dear. Yeah, but I told them we're going to have to negotiate. I may want her here. You may want her here? Yeah, it's all part of this master plan. Master plan? It's an exciting new idea that's coming to the Shady Rest, Kate. Wait till you hear about it. Oh, I want to. <laughs> well, it all started when I got to talking to this guy that runs the hotel. I was congratulating him on his elegant service. Pretty ritzy, huh, Joe? Oh, yeah. After every meal, they hand you a wrap toothpick. <laughs> I happened to mention to this dude that I was in the hotel game, too. He asked me if we were members of the master plan. Joe, what is this master plan? Well, all the big hotels in the world belong to it. Uh, here's the way it helps your business. Say a traveler's in New York staying at the Ritz. He happens to mention to the clerk, I'll be in Hooterville next week. Can you recommend a good hotel? Yeah, that probably happens all the time. <laughs> and then this guy digs up this master plan directory. He says, you're in great luck, sir. In Hooterville, we have a master plan member, the Shady Rest Hotel. No kidding. Imagine guys in London. In Buenos Aires. That's in Africa. <laughs> hey, whenever you're in Hooterville, be sure and stay at the Shady Rest Hotel. Well, imagine. And I suppose uh, you joined up right away? Yeah. I sent in her application with a check for the first year to do. 
Of course, we've got to fulfill certain requirements, too. Such as? Well, number one, we've got to deposit $50 to cover the check I wrote. <laughs> What a restful place you have here, Mrs. Bradley. Well, thank you, Mrs. Burr. And the singing last night, very nice. Well, you should have come down. It seemed like family, and I didn't want to interfere. We're all family here, and next time you come down. Well, thank you, I will. Hi, Mom. Mom, could I talk to you? Well, sure, dear. You... Well, you're so kind of serious. Well, I am. And I hope you won't think I'm butting in, but... It's a family matter. Well, you're a member in good standing. You're allowed to be heard. It's about Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe, what about him? Well, I know he comes up with some funny ideas. Well, like last night with a master plan for the hotel. Honey, that was nothing in comparison to some of the ideas he's had. <laughs> Don't you remember when he wanted to dig a pond here, fill it with crawdads, and call it Marine Landies? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's pretty eccentric, but... It's just that, well, when we were in the city, people didn't just tolerate him the way we do here. They accepted him, and, well, he was different. Different how? Well, more of a person, somehow. Oh, he still played the big shot and everything, but it's funny, because here we'd laugh at him, and there he got away with it. No kidding? Mm-hmm, right from the beginning. Do you know that at my opening show, he was paged? Paged? <laughs> Who knew him? <laughs> well, I promise not to tell. Uncle Joe paid a shoe shine boy ten cents to call him and let him know when his shoes were ready. Well, that's <laughs> Uncle Joe. Big butter and egg man. <laughs> that's right. But, well, it's just that here we'd laugh at him and there he got away with it. I see. And as far as watching out for me is concerned, nobody dare try anything with Uncle Joe around. Well, that's good too, dear, but what was your point? Well, it's just that since we've been back, everything's kind of been like it always was. People sort of laughing at him and not taking him very seriously. But we all love him. He knows that. I know, but it's just that I thought it'd be nice if he knew that we loved and respected him as well. Loved and respected. Yes, we've been sort of lax about that. Thank you, dear. Hi, Kate. Hi. You probably wondered what I'm doing with this. Well, it's like this. I'm on this new diet that doesn't allow desserts with dinner. So I changed it to a more convenient hour. <laughs> Uncle Joe, you know that master plan that you were talking about? Forget about it, King. I probably went overboard anyway. I know how you feel about those things. I think it might be a good idea. You see, in the city, I kind of got to plan the big shot. <laughs> you think it's a good idea? Who knows? Might be big. And if you don't think big, how are you ever going to get big? Well, what do you know? I guess a little of me rubbed off on you. I'll show you what we're going to do. We'll rip out this wall and put in a waterfall. That'll lead to the subterranean gardens. Then on this wall... Hold it, hold it. We're not quite ready for it yet, huh? Well, it was just a passing notion. Could be something less spectacular if you want. Yeah, let's try. <laughs> With all the big hotels that belong to this organization, they don't have just one dining room. They'll have a, a rainbow room. And over here will be the Contiki room. That's a South Sea motive. That old saint, you think we could train Bobby Joe to walk around with a bowl of fruit on her head? <laughs> Uncle Joe, why don't we wait until we get some indication that we're going to be accepted by this outfit? You know, before we lose our heads. Providing, of course, that you, um, you think that's the thing to do. Yeah, um, well, we can keep it in the planning stage. Well, thank heavens, I was beginning to think that I'd arrived in a deserted village. <laughs> well, how do you do, sir? May we help you? Yes. Are you the proprietor of this, um, alleged hostelry? <laughs> Oh, yes, I am. I, oh, uh, but uh, this uh, is Mr. Joe Carson, general manager. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kate. Glad to meet you, mister. I never risk contamination. This tribal custom of continually clasping one another's hands only accelerates the probability of disease and pestilence. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know, but he said it good. <laughs> 
Uh, my name is Gaylord Martindale. You've heard of me, no doubt. Oh, no, oh yes, of course. Uh, Gaylord Martindale, the... Uh, the painter. I shall require your finest accommodations. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, would you mind uh, signing the register, please? Excuse me. Take this brutal bear watching. The last one you remember wanted to take it out and trade. Oh, good children, look at him. He oozes prosperity. That was a kind that fooled you. <laughs> Mister? Yes? The GM of the Shady Rest, I'm going to have to tell you that our terms are strictly cash. <laughs> and uh, may I ask you why you deem it necessary to call that to my attention? I'll tell you why we deem it necessary. Because the last painter that was here wanted to pay us off by painting the bathroom. And it don't need painting again. Oh, well, sir, I'm hardly that kind of painter. Here's your bag, sir. Oh, thanks, my good man. Oh, thank you, sir. And uh, now, my good man, you may take these things to my room. Get back to the cannonball, boy. From here on out, I'm taking over the part of your good man. I'll put him in the presidential suite. <laughs> Do you know anything about this fella? Hmm. Except that he's been my good man and me all the way from Pixley. <laughs> Pays off, too. I've been averaging a dollar a good man. <laughs> Kate. Kate. What the world are you dressed up like that for? Playing my part. I just figured out who this Gaylord Martindale is. Well, he told us he's a painter. That's just to put us off. What he really is is the man from Master Plan. The what? Don't you see, Kate? He's here to check us out. Before you can get into this master plan organization, you've got to be a first-class operation. He's here to see if we are. Put us to the test. Kate, why don't you put on your Sunday dress? Show him we've got a little class around here. Uncle Joe, you're letting your imagination run away with you. No, it ain't. You just wait. You'll be making all kinds of demands just to see if we'll crack. That's the way they do it. I can't believe that. Service? Service? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come here, sir. You right here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming right up, sir. Coming right up. My room is too bright. Oh, sorry, sir. Would you like me to pull down the shade? No. Turn the hotel around. <laughs> I'll fix the shade for you, sir. <laughs> Here is a list of my dietary requirements. Well, uh, we'll uh, come as close as we can. Coming close is not enough. The list is inflexible. And now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to go outside and breathe. <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something about that fellow that's different. <laughs> What do you want to talk to us about, Uncle Joe? Yeah, how come you sent for me? Well, it's a big emergency. I want you to help me with this master plan guy. Can anyone apprise me as to when dinner is served in this establishment? Dinner? Oh, we usually eat around about 6.30. We? Yeah, we got a customer at the Shady Rest here. The guests eat with the family. Yeah. What's wrong? Mass rumination repels me. I shall dine alone. Oh, well, if it does that to you, we'll serve you up in your room. No, you won't. I shall eat in the dining room alone. <laughs> of all the nerve, he won't eat dinner with our family. Now, Bobby Joe, it's part of the test. What test? To see how long you can hold off from punching him in the nose? <laughs> Boy, being a trained jockey, you wouldn't understand. But if we can impress this guy and the shady rest gets on the master plan, then we're set for life. What do you want with us? Well, when I was filling out this application, I spread it on a little. That figures. <laughs> I mentioned certain features we got here at the hotel. And, uh, well, I don't just know how to put it. You mentioned certain features of the hotel that we don't have. Yeah, and well, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> you misrepresented the hotel. That's another way of putting it. Now, here's what I want you to do. But, Kate, I'm only trying to do what's right for the hotel. Uncle Joe, how could you put us in a spot like this? Everybody eating in the kitchen but him. He's not our only guest, you know. 
But, Kate, it's only temporary. He won't be here too long. With the service we're giving him, he'd be a fool to ever leave here. <laughs> now, the next time something like this comes up, I wish you'd talk to me about it. After all, Kate, you did make me general manager. Well, I'll go along with you this time, and I just hope everything turns out for the best. Mom, you want to see Mrs. Pruitt? Mrs. Pruitt, I have a kind of an odd favor to ask of you. Would you mind having dinner tonight in the kitchen with my family? With your lovely family? Of course I wouldn't mind. Oh, thank you. Okay. Kate, someday when there's a chain of Shady Rest hotels clear across the United States, you're going to look back on tonight and say, there's where it started. <laughs> I hope that's what I'll say. <laughs> For one, sir? No, I would like it for an entire regiment. Of course, I want it for one. Thank you.
Obviously no reprieve from his highness. Not yet. I have a feeling we're hanging by a slender thread. Doggone it, Kate. This was going to be one of the greatest ideas of my entire career. I'm sorry, Uncle Jim. That was a delightful dinner, Mrs. Bradley. So homey and all. Well, thank you, Mrs. Pruitt. I, I thought I heard some commotion in the dining room. Did anything happen? Oh, boy. No, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Let's hang on to the one guest we have. <laughs> Joe? Hi, kids. Hi, Ronnie, Steve. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, this is uh, Pruitt. This is my daughter and my son-in-law, Mr. and Mrs. Elliot. Howdy, Oh, you're the young couple who sang last night. I do hope you'll sing some more. Well, we do have to rehearse for the church social. And I think we could all use a little music about now. <laughs> Sam? Billy Joe? Bobby Joe? Let me call you, sweetheart. My favorite. Oh. <laughs> 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 suffered enough. Must we put up with all this caterwauling? <laughs> How rude. I think we've all suffered enough. Right. And if you don't like it, you can clear out. Uncle Joe. I don't care, Kate. If you have to kowtow to a guy like this to get in the master plan, it ain't worth it. Master plan? You heard me. As far as we're concerned, you can forget it. I don't know what you're talking about, but as far as I'm concerned, you're stark raving mad. <laughs> All of them. Yeah, I wonder if I could have made a mistake. It's possible. How do you like that? He ain't even with the master plan. No, but I am. You know, I could have sworn that he was the man they sent here to check. <laughs> you are. Yes. No one ever suspects me. I go to hotels all over the country and make my report, and... I like this place very nice. It's so comfortable. And there's such a nice family feeling about it, with the singing and all. Couldn't we continue? Of course we could. <laughs> I should never have left Tate Ashbury. 